Howdy, Ken. How are you doing today for episode 56? I'm doing great. I'm excited. I'm ready to start affiliating with you. Let's start affiliating. Fantastic. So my question for you today is, do you have any friends that are affiliate marketers? No. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. I don't know anybody that's in affiliate marketing. Actually, I do. I, actually, I do. You obviously being one of them. But yeah, I've got I've got other other people that I consider my friends that, you know, we are in affiliate uh, affiliate marketing and we affiliate with each other, which is important. Yeah, I think it's OK to spread your affiliating around, create a circle of friends and partners, partnerships inside of affiliated marketing, even inside your own niche. I, I know. There's lots of groups and, or I should say lots of sort of communities like on Facebook, probably more so in the free communities, but even some paid communities where people come inside and they're like, yeah, I got this idea. And then it's like, they don't want to share because they're afraid somebody's going to steal it from them or <laughs> somebody's going to take their idea, their angle, and there's going to be extra competition when I, you know, at the, at the beginning, I think that's the way everybody sort of starts off, but it's yeah. a scarcity mindset. And you're like, well, I'm in this group of bloggers. If I tell somebody that my niche is vegan dogs, then somebody's going to steal it, meaning they're going to instantly quit what they're doing and jump on it and rank in the first position on Google for every keyword that is known to known to man about vegan dogs. Yeah. Yeah. And, we, you know, when we step back and we and based off of the experiences and perspective that we have, that is the most ridiculous thing <laughs> that you can think about. Right. Because it's it's and I see it because when in some of the groups that we belong to, you see people coming in, they're on, on fire. I'm going to I'm going to make ten thousand dollars in in you know, in 30 days, ten thousand dollars per month. And this I'm, I have this one niche that no one knows about. And it's like wait a minute, if no one knows about it, like, how are you going to attract an audience and make money off of it? And number two, like you had said with the whole vegan dog example, why would somebody drop what they're doing to try and start all over to build a blog up and start creating content when they've already probably got something that they have? And if they don't have anything, that's just an idea. They can't execute upon the plan that maybe you have that you've laid out for yourself and how you're going to get started and what steps you're going to take, how you're going to produce the content. We're going to... There's so many different things. It's just an idea. And quite frankly, we talked about it um, during uh, backstage and even pre-backstage that ideas, they're, they're, they're not new. There's different angles and different ways to, to, uh, to promote certain things. But, you know, everyone's different. Like we could have the same, we're in the same <laughs> niche anyway, but we produce different content. And if we were given the same topic to talk about, we would approach it differently. And, you know, that doesn't mean that that the professor is going to steal my audience away and I want to steal his. It's just whomever we resonate with. You know, some people might not like the way that, that I present a topic. They, they don't understand it. They may listen to him and, and, and feel the same way. So it's just I think that's just that, like you said, that scarcity mindset. And once you start getting more experience as an affiliate marketer and that kind of stuff doesn't even matter anymore. Yeah, because the thing is, is. I've seen sort of both sides of that coin where people contact me or, or people let me know that they contacted people and they were like, people were offended or they were upset and they told them, don't waste your time. Don't bother. Right. right. Cause right. It's this niche is saturated. Yeah. You know, that's always a thing. It's saturated, totally saturated. You know, don't, don't bother. Don't mess around in this niche. Everything's already been said. Well, everything's already been said about everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's not anything on, on the face of the planet that's new, except for something that, that is new. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that's very rare. Yeah. So in the world of affiliate marketing, you're not coming up with anything new. You're literally selling something that's already being sold, that's proven to be a hot commodity and seller. That's why you want to be an affiliate for it. <laughs> because you, you know they've done all the, the hard work. Yep. You're just going to show up and recommend that people use this product because it's the best product. Yeah. But you're going to put your own personality, your own ethos, your own spin on it. And, you know, that's to me, that's the way that it works. So, you know, there is nothing new out there. There are no secrets. There are no, nothing. There's just different ways of positioning 
the same thing, right? So I think I think people need to understand that that when you come in here, if you have a scarcity mindset, first of all, you're going to just push a lot of people away because people aren't going to want to associate. People are going to be able to to sniff you out, sniff test very very quickly, and they're going to know what you're about and that you're new because most new people that come in do the same thing. I've never experienced someone that has a lot of experience has come in and just said, Hey, you know what? I'm not going to talk about what I'm going to do here. It's like, hey, this is what I want to do. And you know, case in point, the professor will always tell me, Oh, this is what I plan on doing. I'm going to do this, 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 and this. And I'm listening to it going, wow, this is great. But am I going to do it? No, I, no, because that, number one, that's his plan. He understands what he's going to do. And number two, that's not what I want to do anyway. But it's, it's always good to share those ideas. And I, and I like the partnership that we have is in terms of being friends, and partners here in the affiliate files because I learned so much from his experience and his perspective. And hopefully, you know, I return the favor to him. <laughs> hopefully he learns a few things from me, the Padawan. Yeah, but there's no doubt about it, right? That's that's why you build partnerships and teams and you become friendly with people and you just understand and enjoy your company. Yep. And bouncing around ideas, you know, because if you think that you just sit in a room by yourself, and that you are going to create everything that you ever need and every idea that you come up with is just going to be the perfect idea. And you're never going to like need anyone to give you feedback. First of all, if you can't accept feedback, oh. then there's, there's an issue there. Right. But that's a problem. But just to be openly share and be like, look here, I'm going to promote this product. Here's my bonus. You know, are you, are you promoting this product? Yeah. And you never know that like that may create a partnership where you can actually team up on the promotion if that launch, if it's a launch mm -hmm. or if, even if it's an evergreen product, as long as they permit that. But I mean, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, how do they really know? Right. It's like, it, but the point is we do this all throughout life, even from an early age, you figure out the people that you enjoy being around and you group together. And then especially at work, you learn how to become a team you work together as a team. There's always going to be this, you know, effect of you'll get more done as a team because you'll have the ability to just do more because more people, right? More hands in the kitchen means you can cook more. You can mm -hmm. just create more. You can do more things. The affiliate files wouldn't exist if we didn't come together and be like, let's partner up and do this and utilize each other to push ourselves forward to get to 56 episodes. Yeah. And, you know, it all started with, hey, man, let's start up a podcast. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the funny part is it, it was built out of a partnership and team, uh, sort of a, a partnership that we didn't even know that we were building because we all signed up to join the same program. And for me, it was a content database, mm -hmm. which goes back to the same thing. We joined a team and we all looked at these keywords and then we created content based off the keywords and mm -hmm. every single one of us came up with something different. Yeah. Even after literally being spoon fed the keyword and the topic and given an outline, the thing that we produced individually was completely different from everyone else. Yeah. And, th and that's the amazing part, right? Because Again, if you go back to the beginning, how you talked about people being, you know, having that scarcity mindset, that's, that's exactly it right there. We all produced something totally, totally different. We each resonate with our audience very, very differently. And it's, you know, there are, there are times when people who are subscribers to our, um, my channels is, is, is on Gary's channel as well. And, but you know, they get, they get something out of it from, from each of us, something that's different. And that's the reason why you know, we, we get people that are kind of crossovers um, on our list and our subscribers, but, you know, partnering up with stuff and, and building these partnerships to me, it's really worthwhile because again, you just get a larger, you get a, a larger perspective of like, for instance, you know, uh, for those of you guys who don't know the professors, uh, you know, he was, he was uh, uh, part of the air force and he's been in it for over 30 years. He's traveled the world. He's traveled the world. And for me, you know, I haven't, I haven't traveled the world. So, you know, I learned a lot about places that he's been in and it's just, you gain that additional perspective. And I think that's what 
partnerships and working with uh, with other people, especially on promotions, you know, everyone brings something to the table is what I want to say is when you even you're part of a team and you're working in a, in a corporate environment, everyone brings something to the table. And that's why they're part of the team. What I like about our partnership is that we share the same, you know, ethos. We, we, we share the same platform, which is YouTube. We, we believe in, in educating people and providing value to people and building up that trust and, and just connecting those people to the products and services that we strongly believe in. And we don't believe in the same products, by the way. We, we promote other products, but we believe in the same core set of products that and services that people should have if they're starting up affiliate marketing. That You don't need a whole bunch of fancy stuff, and we'll always tell you that. You don't need the fancy stuff, just the basic stuff. And if you ever, you guys ever want us to, to talk about it, Hey, well, I'm happy to, to let you know what, what I what I use because there's there's nothing out there that's revolutionary. But that's a thing too, right? You know, being friendly with people, building partnerships and teams. You know, I've worked with a lot of people in my career, you know, in my life that I was I weren't friend with. I wasn't friends with them. I didn't hang out with them after work, you know. Mm -hmm. But we were friendly, and we knew how to work together as a team. It's the same thing in business. Same thing as an affiliate marketer. So you look at a promotion that's coming up and you look at the leaderboard. Those are the people that you need to be friendly with. Like you don't have to be friends with them, right? You don't have to go hang out with them. You don't have to, you know, become text mates with them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you never know. You might become friends with them. I have, I have friends that I've never met in person, Ken being one of them, you know, that we talk about things that have nothing to do with affiliate marketing, if you can believe that, <laughs> because we've created a friendship, mm -hmm. but we also have a business partnership mm -hmm. and we also look at different ways and different angles. And we share that with each other because we have our own little two person mastermind <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to, to share those thoughts and ideas with. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think that's important because, you know, to have that sounding board to, to maybe perhaps get, um, an additional angle or a different point of view, uh, that, you know, being the devil's advocate air quotes, I did it air quotes <laughs> for these guys on the podcast, but you know, having that different angle, right. I mean, case in point, you know, I, I want to uh, create this simple, uh, email, um, course, right. And the professor's like, Hey, you know what? You got to check out this course. This course is kind of like what you're thinking about. You should check it out. And so we share information and we share ideas. And by just by, you know, looking at the course, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is a great idea. This is a great idea. I can apply it to what I'm what I want to do and, and vice versa. And if, if the professor sees something that he's um, interested in doing and I, and I know of a resource or something, I'll just say, hey, take a look at this. This is this is something that you is probably right up your alley. And so, you know, without having that kind of relationship or friendship, um, you know, I don't know how far I would be getting without having a sounding board you know um uh, to to bounce ideas off of and and, and frustration and, and mind you it's not only about business it's about the friendship side and, and sharing like challenges that you have frustrations that you might have and working through it and 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 just having that sounding board i think that really to me is important and you grow you just grow as a marketer um when you, when you have that kind of a, like to me it's a support system yeah because we're both people and we're both frustrated by things that happen in our life outside of the business of being an affiliate marketer. Mm -hmm. So we can understand, you know, it's just like if you're in the same career field, you have the same challenges you understand. So for example, if there's a promotion coming up, there's stuff going on in our personal lives. We don't have time to do the promotion that we want to do. So we're like, look, dude, I got, I, you know, it's going to go, I got, I'm short on time. What do you think about if I just do this and be like, yeah, I mean, if you can only send that email, then go ahead and just, just send it, you yep. know, but know that it would be better. Like, yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Okay. Just, just checking in with you to make sure that, you know, you don't lose sight of it and you don't get lazy. Right. If it's, if it's something that you can't do because you truly don't have time and you're being straight about, you don't have time. Or can you find the time? You know, just like that. That's a, that's a friendly conversation, right? 
Yeah. Because we're, we're both affiliate marketers. We both understand the pressure and the fact that we need to make money off this promotion. And we believe in the product. So we know it'll help our audience. So yep. we go through that. We go through those motions as, as friends, not just as, as partners, right. Yep. And people, you know, just working together to make sure that we get it done. It's just, it's just relying on people, each other as friends and being friendly and being, you know, someone that's in the same position as the other person. Yeah. Because you, you just never know, you know, it's, it's a give and take, right? Any, any friendship, any partnership is always a give and take to it. And, you know, uh, we talked about this uh, backstage as well about, you know, uh, when there's promotions out there, there are lots of times I'll, I don't even have an idea of what kind of bonus I'm going to do. <laughs> so I just go, Hey man, what are you going to do for a bonus? And he'll be like, Oh yeah, I'm going to do this, 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 and this, and this. And I'm like, Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do, <laughs> but at least, but you know, at least I know I'm like, wow. Okay. So these are the possibilities. And just by having that kind of that spark, that idea that kind of, you know, uh, kind of snowballs into me coming up with something of my own. And, you know, we're happy to, I'm happy to share all the time. Like, you want to look at what I'm doing? This is what I'm doing. I, because again, nothing's new. We're using the same, uh, you know, strategy and tactic to, to market. However, the way we position and the angles and how we present the information is totally different. We could, like, like uh, Gary had said earlier, you know, we could have the same information, same angle, same topic, everything, but we always come up with something different. And I think that to me, you know, is proof that sharing information and, and, um, you know, just being, you know, generous, not overly generous, but at least, you know, sharing information and being forthcoming, you know, to me is, is there's, there's nothing wrong with that. It only, it only benefits everybody. Right. Cause you never know. And we talked about this a little bit about, uh, we talked about this a little bit backstage. You never know, like the affiliate files, with like the ideas and the aspirations and, you know, the, the, the master plan that we have, right. Sort of like the evil scheme that we're hatching for like this to be like, go on the show, go on the road, take the show on the road yep. and, you know, really start interviewing more people. Like we've interviewed one person so far to really build this into like the truth about making money online and the angle of these are the struggles. These are the, the ways that, that other people have done it, everything they've gone through to build their ethos, their mentality, if that was to turn into a true partnership, like you, you know, you see other major brands, you know, that that's an amazing thing. And that, but that doesn't work if you're not open to the fact that, Hey, Ken Furikawa marketing, 30 minute marketing, we're in direct competition, literally yeah. direct competition, right? Yeah. He's McDonald's, I'm Burger King, right? We're, we're all vying for that person that wants yep. that the burger of the day. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I think I, I, when you started mentioning that being in direct competition, it, it just imagined, you know, when we do reviews, right. When we do reviews on products, it's always interesting to see. And we never comment about like, Oh, you're number one. And you're, you know, you're getting more traffic than me. It's always like, Oh, it's kind of cool. It's always cool to see us on the page one, you know? And, and if I don't even care if he's number one and I'm, I really don't care. But I, I, I look at that and I think, wow, that's so cool. Like we're, we're both, you know, we're both, the pie only gets bigger. Okay. I always go back to this line. My old CFO, uh, he, he told me that the pie only gets bigger. And if you have a scarcity mindset where you're like, it's oversaturated and it's always getting smaller, there's so much competition. Who's going to, you've lost before you've even begun. You have lost before you, you got to go out there and say, okay, there's plenty for everybody. So, you know, the more reviews we make, the better, the better things get, you know, who, whomever re resonates with the audience is going to do that. And most people tend to watch multiple videos from multiple people. They're not only going to be, you know, looking at your video, you know, so I, it, it's kind of like you, you take a step back now and you see where you were and where you are now. It's almost ridiculous to think that, gosh, I used to think that way. How horrible is that? But it's just part of the lore. It's just part of that learning process that we all go through. As affiliate yeah. marketers. And I mean, there's a line that needs to be crossed or yeah. what was it like in the Dave Chappelle show? Like he was a habitual line stepper, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there, there's a line, there's a line there. Yep. Like if, if I start sharing stuff with somebody and then everything I share starts popping up in their content, <laughs> I'm going to be like, 
hey, man, we got a problem, right? Yeah. Like, you're taking my stuff, right? Yeah. That's not cool. Yeah. But that's not what it's about, right? It's about we're in the same niche. We're friends. We're friendly. We're partner. We partner up. We, we produce content here on the affiliate files. Using that as an example. Mm -hmm. Not to say that Ken is a habitual line stepper. You never know. <laughs> you don't you know me that know, right? <laughs> but that's the point, right? It's yeah. like... That's the best part of the journey. It's the it's the brilliant thing of finding friends, finding partnerships, teaming up, understanding that we're in the same situation. Yes, we're in direct competition during that launch. Yes, we're in direct competition, that evergreen product. So, you know, to use an example of we both use the same email autoresponder. We both recommend the same email autoresponder. We both recommend that people use that email autoresponder to do affiliate marketing. Uh, hello. Mm -hmm. That's direct competition. Yeah, yeah, and and to me, it's just I, again, it's just that that mindset. I, 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 as you were talking, I was thinking back, like, gosh, man, I used to think that I would not share this kind of stuff and I wouldn't do this stuff. But you know, even though we recommend the autoresponder, we both use it differently. We both do different things with the same tool, and you know, uh, it's just a different philosophy or whatever it is, but. Again, we promote the same thing. And I have no problem, you know, sharing ideas and doing these things because quite frankly, for me, I look at it as a way to 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 spark other ideas. Like I need someone's idea to say, okay, well, okay, well, maybe I can do something like that, but I'm gonna do something a little bit with a slightly different twist to it. But I can I can for a fact I know that whenever you <laughs> shared, like, hey, this is what I'm gonna do for my bonus, I'm like, all right. Okay. <laughs> and I do something totally different, but I just need it. I need it in terms of the partnership. What I love about it is not only holding each other accountable. And I think that's one of the most important things. Um, but it's just really, um, you know, pushing each other, not directly saying, Hey, you need to do this. It's more like, well, that's cool, man. You should go for it. And just encouraging and just knowing that, you know, I value his opinion. Um, and you know, when he says, hey, you should try it, like, you know, I'm going to try it, you know, I'm, I'm going to do it because, again, I have that boundary and I'm, I'm not, sometimes I'm not willing to step over the line, right? But, you know, if I get encouragement from somebody that I trust and that I value their friendship and their advice, yeah, you know, I, it gives me that confidence to take another step forward. And that's all you can do. And, and this is a journey, folks. This is a journey. It's not a destination. It's a journey filled with tiny destinations as you get to, you know, closer to each goal that you that you set. But, you know, it's 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 nice to have that person pushing you along indirectly. Now, he doesn't say you need to do this. You need to, you know, you know, you know, uh, get your finger out and, and start, you know, start doing it. It's more of, hey, man, that's a great idea. You know, you should think about doing it, you know, and, and it just makes me think. And it, and for that. You know, I, I have that introspection, intro, introspection, and I start thinking about that, and that, that's what spurs me or doesn't spur me to do anything. So it can go either way. Well, that's part of it too, right? Just a, a simple, a friendly reminder or a nudge. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, are you are you in on this promotion or not? You, yeah. you said you were going to. You said you were going to do it. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Right. Oh well. Yeah, you know, Ken's right. I need to get I need to get my 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 tail in gear and do yep. this thing, right? Yep. And then there's also inside of, you know, when you're doing promotions and you have partnerships or you're friends with people in the same niche, you can be friendly about it. It can become a friendly competition. Yep. And I've actually used this to spur to sort of boost visibility for myself and and another affiliate during a competition we bring up that the competition is going on and we're going back and forth, right. In positions jockeying for, you know, even if it's like third or fourth place, right. We're not even number one, yep. but me and him are getting more buzz than anybody else because we're having fun with it saying, Oh, check it out. I'm number three. You're number four. Who's yep. going to take it. Yep. We're having our own little mini competition and people are like, well, what's wrong with these guys? They're not even number one. We're like, well, yeah, because we're having an internal competition. Yeah, we're having fun with it because we're friends. We're in the same niche. We talk to each other. And then that just sort of generates this buzz around it. And then people want to know what it is we're doing. You know what I mean? And it yeah. just builds, builds a show around what's going on. Yeah. And, and, and I think 
most people wouldn't even think about that kind of stuff. So when you brought it up, I'm like, yeah, that's right. I, I do see you doing that a lot. I do see you, you know, um, screenshotting and putting things up there going, you know, with a little circle on there with a smiley face on it. And, you know, it's, it's just a subtle jockeying a back and forth uh, between friends uh, who are competitors. I mean, like you said, we, we compete against each other every single day. And, you know, it's just one of those things where, you know, I don't take offense to anything. It's like, all right, like you're doing better. I'm going to, I'm going to send out an extra email. I mean, it just pushes me to do more. And guess what? In the process of me sending out an extra email, I make more money. So, you know, the end goal is to push each other so that we both end up making, you know, a lot of money on a promotion. Right. So, you know, it, it's, it's, I, I think, you know, having a partnership and a friendship and, and utilizing that um, in your business is so important because again, it just pushes you to, to do more. And I think when you do more, obviously in this business, guys, it's not like a nine to five job where you show up, you clock in, you clock out. And, and two weeks later, you get a paycheck. If you don't do anything for two weeks or a month or two months, you're not going to get money. You're not going to get paid. So you, it's, it's in your benefit to build these kinds of uh, relationships and, and and friendships with people that share the same ethos. And you're not going to have everyone that, that shares it, that thinks the way that you do. And Gary and I, we don't think the way that, uh, the, you know, the same way, but we do have the same set of values, which for us makes, makes the partnership so much easier because when we're, when we're here on the affiliate files, we're only talking about the truth. That's, that's what, that's our goal is to talk about the truth. We come from different perspectives and we're going to provide you with, different angles and, and, um, you know, different ideas, but at the core, the core ethos of this channel is, and this podcast is to talk about the truth. And that's, that's what our goal is. Yeah. I mean, there's that old saying, right? It's like a rising tide raises all ships. Mm -hmm. That's what teammates are. That's what a partnership is, right? That's what friends do. Yeah. They pick everyone up. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say that you can't be setting, listening to this podcast or watching here on the YouTube channel and you're sitting in your, you know, in your closet with the light on above your head. Right. And you're doing affiliate promotions, you know, you'd be making a million dollars a month. Yeah. And if you are, then good for you. Mm -hmm. Good for you. I'm not saying to not do that. Right. But it's okay. You know, like you don't need our permission, but we're giving you our permission yeah. to be friendly with yeah. other affiliates inside of your niche. Yeah. Yeah. And again, you don't have to be yucking it up and always palling around stuff. You know, there's always that comp competitive edge to it. And, you know, it's, it's, it's like any, it's like, you know, watching uh, professional basketball, right? And you see um, two top players, two top superstars battling it out in the court. You know, at the end, at the end of the game, you know, they're friends. They, 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 you know, high five each other. They give each other, they swap jerseys, whatever it is. And, you know, there's that mutual respect. And I think, you know, that's what it is, right? It's, it's a mutual respect, a love for what we do. And that's what we share. And for us, it's all about just, you know, helping each other to get to that point because, Hey, you know what? In a year, year or two from now, affiliating, if you guys haven't looked at his course, that, that it could be huge. It could be huge. And I could be like, you know, I knew this guy when he came from, from basically not knowing what the heck he was doing to where he's at now. And just being part of that journey, you know, kind of spurs me on to want to emulate something like that, right? To maybe take the same path. Um, is it, is it going to be the right path for me? Who knows? But it just shows you that, hey, he's doing it. This is how he's making money. Um, he's doing it the way that he wanted to do it with this type of ethos. And it aligns with mine. So maybe I'll give it a shot, but I'll do it in a different way. So I, that's what I like about, about partnerships and friendships in affiliate marketing. Yeah, it's also a way to, to look at it as there's certain aspects that things or things that people do better than others. Right? Mm -hmm. Everyone has their superpower. I think the way that people like to present it. You know what I mean? Like, so Ken is the paid ads guy, right? Like if I won't pay traffic, I'm going to be like, right. I'm going to go check him out and be like, Ken, show me this or just do it for me and let me pay you whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, or trade for whatever it is my superpower is, you know what I mean? That's part of the thing too, right? You're building those partnerships to build your own business. You're building your own business and you could be a solopreneur and you can do everything yourself. Like for me, I tend to do everything. 
But that's not to say that I will be doing everything for the rest of my time. It's also to say that I don't do everything because there is quite a bit of that outsource that I just can't do. Mm-hmm. Like if I need graphic work done, I'm not an artist. Like I literally have to have somebody do that work for me, mm-hmm. you know? But if I build friendships and partnerships, that friendship and partnership may not do it for me, but they may have the resource that I'm not aware of, or they've already tested it and they know that it works. So I don't have to go through that whole process of failing to find a person to do the thing I need done. I just reach out to Ken and I say, Hey, who, who's your, who's your, who's your copy guy? Mm -hmm. Oh, for this niche, I use X, Y, Z, right? I use Mr. X over here. He's the best in the niche, right? He's the best vegan dog copywriter there is. Well, fan freaking tastic. Send me his email. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's where the value comes in. Um, just expanding your network, um, not only in terms of friendships, but also you know um, uh, vendors that you can utilize and just sharing. It, it's it's all for the good. I mean, to me, um, because again, you know, your idea. Maybe the same as mine, but the way that we approach it is going to be is going to be totally different. And you know, I'm I'm totally okay with that because, like my CFO once said, the pie only gets bigger, only gets bigger. Yep. Just be friendly, share the pie, not the fork. <laughs> yeah, share the pie, not the fork. That's right. <laughs> and, I like and, that. Yeah, and enjoy it as the pie gets bigger, right? And uh, unless you have anything else, Ken. No. I'm ready we're for all, some to eat some pie though. <laughs> we're all Apple done. Here. We're all done here. I'll talk to you later. Bye.